I don't always believe stats matter. Uh, Kirk Cousins is the greatest example where he completes 70% of his throws, blah, blah, blah. But in the end, he can't win the big games. And so stats, I, I there are some I look at a lot. What do you average per play offensively? That's what Vegas looks at. That's what I look at. What is your third down conversion rate? Can you make big plays when it matters? Third and inches, fourth and inches. But most stats don't tell me much. But there's a couple. The NFL research, and this is a verified account, came out yesterday. This is remarkable. This is absolutely remarkable on Dak Prescott. He, since 2016, he has 15 game-winning drives. That is the most in the NFL. He has 13 prime-time quarterback wins. That is the most in the NFL. And 19 rushing touchdowns, most in the NFL by a quarterback. Folks, these are real stats. He is the opposite of Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins is great when it doesn't matter. But with a minute and a half to go in a game, and it's on Sunday night football, or the Fox big game, or Thursday night football, or Monday night football, Dak's good. Dak, you can't deny this stuff. Dak's you good. You say he has the clutch gene. Okay, the clutch gene. And, I, and I've said this before. There are just certain guys, Michael Jordan, he was good hitting a free throw late. Michael Jordan wasn't an 85, 90% free throw shooter. Boy, he was good late, though. Michael was good late, though. There are guys that have it. These are real stats. And I said yesterday, Dak is 80% of Troy Aikman. Now, the 20% Troy had a golden arm. And that's why Troy is a Hall of Famer and Troy won three Super Bowls. That's why I don't think Dak's ever going to be a Hall of Famer and win three Super Bowls. But Dak has something that I think is wildly undervalued. Maturity, emotional discipline, even temperament, low emotions, steady personality, opposite of Baker, who drives me crazy, opposite of Cam Newton, who drives me crazy, opposite of often Jameis Winston, who drives me crazy, opposite of Jay Cutler, who drove me crazy. Steady, calm, unemotional, no anxiety, good body language, better late in games, bigger the game, the bigger the player. You cannot deny these numbers for all you Cowboy haters out there. These are real numbers. 15 game-winning drives. That means he got the ball and his team trailed late. 13 primetime wins. That means the network said... Cowboys against good teams. They don't put the Cowboys against the Jags on. Cowboys against the Eagles. We're going to put the Cowboys against the Packers. We're going to put the Cowboys against the Saints. Primetime games means the networks. You don't see the Jags on primetime even against the Cowboys. Primetime is networks saying we want the Steelers. We want the Patriots. We want, you know, we want Kansas City. We want Dallas. We want Green Bay. That's Those are numbers. You, you can't. This is why I say quarterback is not the best arms in NFL history that I've ever seen. Let's go last 20 years. The best arms I've seen in the NFL last 20 years. Cam, Jay Cutler, Matt Stafford, Jamarcus Russell, and Brett Favre. One is a winner, and even Brett Favre, I would argue, underachieved. Considering his talent, Brett Favre should have won more. Brett Favre is one of the great natural talents of all time is but a lot of those guys that had great arms did not have emotional discipline 